planning of the structure is very important in structural design planning includes the size of the structural member the dimensions of the structural member the correct size of the structural members enhances the strength and serviceability of the structure beams are the horizontal structural member which carries the load from the slab and and we provide reinforcement to resist the bending moment and shear force in beams in this video let's discuss about how we can decide the cross section of the beam and then why do we provide the depth of the beam more when compared to the width of the beam when you take the framing of the structure the length of the beam will be as per the span between the two columns as you can see here length of the beam is the span between these two columns and then if you take the width width we have to decide according to the width of the column or width of the wall we need to find out the depth if you look into the longitudinal section of the beam this is the length of the beam and depth of the beam this is the width of the beam so when the load is applied on the beam so it tend to bend in this downward direction and also you will get the deflection when the load is applied on the beam you will be getting the bending moment like this so your bending moment will be like this you will get top moment and the span moment moment at the support and the moment at the span so we provide reinforcement to resist this bending moment and when you look into the cross section see this is the depth of the beam and this side it is the width of the beam since the load is applied in the vertical direction so if the depth is more then the beam will be getting the greater stiffness to resist the load in this section when the load is applied so you can see here the depth of the beam is more so when the load is applied in the vertical direction it will be having the greater stiffness and rigidity to resist the load externally applied load similarly see when the load is applied on the beam like this if you provide the depth very less and the width more then the stiffness and rigidity of the beam will get reduced since the load is applied in the vertical direction so the stiffness and rigidity of the beam will get reduced so it is always a good practice to provide depth of the beam greater than the width of the beam the stiffness and rigidity of the beam mainly depends on the moment of inertia of the cross section so we have two different cross section here in this breadth is 230 and depth is 450 in this cross section we have breadth is 450 and depth is 230 mm so if you calculate the moment of inertia for this cross section you will be getting 1.75 and if you calculate the moment of inertia for this section you will be getting 0.456 from this we can conclude the cross section with more depth will be having the higher stiffness and rigidity when compared to the cross section with lesser depth always it is a good practice to provide the depth more than the width of the beam the thumb rule for finding out the beam depth if you take this clear span between columns that l we need to consider this is l so thumb rule for beam depth is l by 12 to l by 10 so according to this ratio we can find out the depth of the beam so 4000 is your span that is clear span and then if you find out this you will be getting the depth as 333 to 400 mm so let's take this 400 mm as the beam depth so friends i hope you all like this video please do comment in the comment box if you like the content share it with your friends and also don't forget to subscribe the channel for more videos thank you for watching